Have you ever wanted to paint with water-soluble oils but you're not really quite sure about them? Have you thought that they're not maybe as good as traditional oils? Well, I'm going to demystify all that for you. They are a wonderful product and I love them. And in this video, I'm going to explain how to use them, how you can do traditional types of paintings, realistic work, how to blend beautifully with them, what mediums to use, how much water, how easy they are to clean up and especially they are fantastic for mixing with other media, water-based media, and you can do fantastic layers with them. So yes, these are a fabulous product. I think you're gonna have a ball once you know what you can do with this wonderful medium, the water-soluble oils. It's Tracy from Artici, where we help artists of all levels discover new art techniques, create better art, and get more joy from their painting. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell to make sure that you don't miss out on the latest tips for improving your art practice. All the links to find out everything I mentioned in this video can be found in the description box below. So let's jump into it. In this painting here, I've used water-soluble oils just like you would with traditional oils. I've had the, the wonderful thing of being able to just thin a lot of my paint with water and clean up easily. Water-soluble oils are the same as real oils. People don't realise it's the same um, uh, mixture in there. They've just modified one little part so that you can mix it with water and clean up with water and so they're very safe and easy to use. So they're a fabulous product. And I find that students who normally paint with acrylics, I sometimes convert them to paint with water soluble oils to do this sort of painting, to do um, realistic uh, flower painting and also um, abstracts. And when they see how beautiful and rich and creamy they are just with adding water and the beautiful blends that you can get, um, I find it improves their painting. So water soluble oils are worth it just for that. Now when you use these you can mix with water to thin and maybe put um, your underpainting down like a thin wash and then later build up the thicker layers as long as you um, realize that if you use a lot of water in the underpainting the thin ground that the next layers would have less water and if you don't understand what I'm talking about we have got a free download on explaining uh, of traditional oils and fat over lean and some of the mediums. So it's very easy to learn about the idea of fat over lean. And as you build the painting up and the texture gets built up, you're, you're using less water. Because this brand, the whole bean, is so rich and creamy, I find that it really doesn't need a lot of water nor a lot of medium. But you can use the specially designed mediums for water soluble oils and that allows you to still wash out just with soap and water, no solvents are needed, um, which is fantastic. But if you also would like to treat them a little bit like traditional oils with some of the other mediums that are used with oils, like I use my Galkide Light in a little dripper bottle to add to them sometimes to uh, make it flow better, uh, you will then have to clean up with the Gamsol, which is an odorless solvent and toxic free, so it's still no problem. Um, you will have changed it a little bit if you add oil to it, but you can solve paint with the uh, just adding the water a lot of my students do this and one of the things that I love about these water soluble oils it's not too different to painting with acrylic by adding the water and the results are just fabulous the blending is just like the traditional oils the students can get this beautiful gradation of color the blending is so lovely it, and the colors in this brand are fantastic. Holbein has a hundred wonderful colors. Some people say, I wouldn't touch water soluble oils, there's not enough colors. Well, we can learn to mix lots of colors, but a hundred colors, I think there's quite a beautiful variety. It's just a wonderful range and this is the sort of thing that you can come up with. Now, the other thing that I really, really love about this product is that because it is water soluble and you can add water to it, I often tint it with some of my other water media and I do these um, vibrant abstracts. And um, these, this means that I can use the, 
the titanium white or a cool white or a warm white and I can add a little bit of um, um, another water-based medium long as I don't add too much uh, and I can have my own colors that I've mixed and in my abstract flower attic course I teach students um, all about all these layers and all the different things that they can do with them and uh, some of the res results are fantastic the fact that you can um, mix it with your other water-based products the fact that um, it's so easy to use and to, to look after. You don't have to carry a lot with you even if you were traveling. Uh, and you can end up with results like this with water soluble oils. And I love true oils as well, but I just feel the convenience of the cleanup and not having to have a lot of mediums with you if you were traveling is a wonderful thing as well. And um, I hope that you um, really, really love um, using these water soluble oils and mixing them with your other media I think you can have a wonderful time so um, I'll show you on another painting um, close under the camera using some of these on a seascape and maybe another piece of mine so that um, you can get a full idea of how wonderful this product is so I'm here with the beautiful water soluble oils and I have um, a painting that is nearly completed here on this piece of canvas paper and it's a little seascape. I have one layer down that's quite thinly put onto a textured canvas and um, I've used only water with this and you can see that already I have some fantastic blends. Um, these colours are just fantastic. The Holbein range is um, one of my favourites. They are so creamy and uh, you have a hundred colours and I'll just quickly show you before I show some other things. If you can see on some of these swatches, the gorgeous colours that you can have. Um, so there's plenty of colours in these water soluble oils. You don't have to worry about that. And often before I do a painting, I'll just show you a little thing that I do uh, with the colors that I own or that I purchase. I always do a color swatch book and um, I mix the, the main color with white and show the different tints that I can with the colors so you can mix it with white. And it just is really handy go-to guide for the possibilities that you can achieve with the colors. And in this particular um, painting I've been using cobalt turquoise and ice green to get this gorgeous sort of aquamarine color that um, is in the wave. So one thing I want to explain with the water soluble oils um, you can just use water as I have done here there's been no mediums at all not even the water soluble mediums that you can buy I haven't even used that in this underpainting but you can get the water soluble uh, mediums um, by each brand they all have their mediums that you can use to to thin paint and you can also use um, traditional mediums like galkide light galkide and uh, long as you don't use too much with it um, you can still wash out with soap and water but if you use a lot of the oils or linseed oil you're going to then change the properties of the water soluble oils and you will have to um, use a solvent like gemsol to clean up your paints now when I paint I use a glass palette like many um, painters do who paint with oils or water soluble oils and I sometimes use a paper palette as well. I've got a bit on both sides and uh, you can just dip it in the water and add this to um, and look how creamy it is. So just on a little bit of paper I'll just show you um, with a little bit more paint. This is quite a textured canvas paper. But, you know, look at how creamy um, this particular paint is. And I'm just going to pick up another colour and I'm just using an old funny brush here. But, you know, you can put them down and just with water, these can blend beautifully and you can get that, you know, a lovely um, blending of the two colours, a gradation. And all we're using is water with these beautiful water soluble oils. And look at look at the shade; it's just gorgeous. And um, I just love them. And this is quite um, a cheap canvas paper, and it's quite textured, probably a little bit rougher than some canvases. So you can see I'm using um, a sort of a hog's hair brush to push it into the the grain of the canvas. But, you know, on smoother surfaces you can use, you know, and in second layers you can use your synthetic soft brushes. But um, it's fabulous and um, I tend to use it mainly with water but occasionally I will use um, a medium like Galkide Light 
and um, I put it in a little dripper bottle and then I can add that to my uh, palette. And knowing that when you add a medium to your oils, um, your water soluble oils that you shouldn't use too much they were designed to be used with water and you can use them with all oil mediums just don't go overboard if you do happen to want to use a lot of their traditional mediums with it you realize that you won't you'll end up with not a water soluble oil and you will have to clean out with a solvent like um, Gemsol or one of the others so I'm just going to use a little bit of the medium with this to, to thin it down and this is quite an opaque color and um, you know to add some highlights into my wave area and I'll show you with the whites too how marvelous it is so here's some white and um, you know towards the end we we bring up our our highlights with the very straight from the tube it's so um, rich creamy it's um, beautiful and opaque and we can get you know a lot more of the white highlights that we want on the tips of these waves um, especially here in the the water the little rivulets really do need a little bit more of a highlight where where the sun's hitting them and you can thin it out a little bit if you want to with um, a little bit of water and blend it in so that you get that sort of uh, lacing effect that happens when you're doing um, you know waves if you put it on a little bit too thickly um, you can just smoosh it out and highlight things it's just very easy to use and the results are great and don't be frightened that you you can use water with it you just don't want to use pools of water you can use a thin layer in the beginning as your ground and that's quite acceptable and then as you go along you start to get thicker paint and as you get the thicker paint um, you're doing the the same technique as you do with traditional oils which is fat over lean and we want to achieve that result so do give these a try I'm, I'm sure that you will just love the possibilities are just endless with these the beauty of them is that um, this the plain white that I'm using here, the titanium white. I often use it in mixed media and I tint it with other water um, soluble products like airbrush acrylic, creating my own colors and creating layers. Um, and um, it, it all will mix in with other water products. So I think that's a great thing. So. You can glaze with it. Um, you can use the mediums that they make to go with the water soluble oils. Um, you can even thin it a little bit with water, um, but you must realize that it's still fat over lean. So at the end, you would need your medium to do your little bit of glazing um, on your oils. Now, if some of the things that I'm talking about, you would like to understand more, we have a free guide um, that you can download on oils and explaining traditional oils and also the water soluble oils so um, you know do download that it's a wonderful little guide and it's free and also if you'd like to see some of the things that I do with um, mixed media and water soluble oils and in my abstracts my um, abstract flower attic course is a wonderful course to give you an idea of how to come up with interesting compositions and how to use water soluble oils mixed with other mediums. <music>